some big meat. Some big meat we got there. Oh, foe. You know, I always wondered why these calipers look so different than all the other Cayenne models. It was painted, cut of silver, and this is a decal. It's not even an OEM color or anything. So those apps are gonna be done either back in red or in yellow, but we're finally starting this off-road build on the Cayenne. All right, you guys, we got the tires on. I don't hear any rubbing, so that's very good. Ride smooth, no road noise. Hold on, because these things look mad nice. I'm not even gonna lie, they look so good. All right, you guys, let's see this. Let's see this. Damn, those things look gnarly. A closer look. So people said it would rub, but it's not rubbing anywhere. Like I even drove, I would say like half a mile, maybe a mile. Only thing is this is a bit too close. So what I'm gonna have to do is order some spacers, like maybe a 10 mil, something small. And that'll be that. But this thing looks nice now. Definitely coming together, doing what I need it to do. You guys, it's actually the very next day. And you see those two black things? It's windy out there, that's so why I'm not going out. But those two black things are actually tow hooks. And I didn't notice that until I like just randomly checked one day. So. Went ahead and ordered two tow hooks and I'm gonna see how it looks. So you literally can just, they're like little rubber pieces. Like you see that they're bendable rubber. So hopefully it fits because I don't know what the thread pitch is and it looks like they do kind of fit somewhat. Maybe I'm, hold on. All right, so we got the one on. It took a little bit because this like little tab up there right there along that side it was like blocking it from going on so we're gonna put the other one on I may loosen that a little bit eh. that seems good now I did not check if this side has one it should but I never checked and it does so we are good to go oh that actually looks kind of spicy I'm not even gonna lie that looks kind of spicy Good stuff, good stuff. Now I just need some lights, I need a rack, and maybe a canopy or a tent. All right, you guys, let's go to a nice little, something nice and simple, nice little spot. Get a thumbnail. thing looks so much better man and next thing definitely gonna need some lights I don't even know if you guys can hear me because of it but definitely gonna need some lights for the front the roof rack for the obviously the roof and then some lights on the rear or the light on the front of the rack we have officially gotten parts for our cayenne so today we have a uh, not a, ten, a canopy so this is a six by eight foot canopy it's gonna be going, obviously on the Cayenne, it's gonna be going on the side. So uh, I'm just gonna to have to uh, start putting this thing together a little bit and try to put this on by myself since I am the only one here today. So looking at the diagram, uh, see the crossbars right there and it has those little hooks with the anchors right there. So I'm actually gonna to try to fit those on now unless, what is that sound? I'm trying to fit those on now and see, um, how I'm gonna do this by myself because I'm very confused. So I'm actually gonna try to put these brackets on uh, now and see. And when I do that, I should be able to get a gauge as to where they, actually, I have an idea, I got an idea. So my plan is to mock it up on the car and then use a Sharpie to see where I'm going to uh, mount these little uh, brackets. So I went ahead. I got these things mounted pretty sturdy. Now. I'm just gonna have to get them onto the truck, which is might be a difficult task. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna I don't even know bro. I don't even know like, This is a lot harder than it looks um, I definitely need two hands Definitely need two hands. So pretty much what we're gonna have to do is take our 10 mil 
I got the drill out so I can get this over real quick. Um, I'm gonna have to take the drill, zip these in so it can clamp down to this bar and then do the same thing for that side. Once this side is on, that side should be like 10X easier. All right, you guys, I got the canopy installed on the car. It is actually the next day. I'm gonna pull it out for the first time and see how it actually looks. So this is a six by eight canopy. Um, so six feet long, eight feet wide. And it's pretty, it's pretty huge. It fits the car very well though. All right, let's uh, take this thing out. So after a little bit of fussing around with it, I finally got it. So I didn't know that you had to actually twist the pole to lock it in place and then you do the same with this. So once you get all these set up, you can go ahead and wrap. I'm not gonna fully do it because it's just going right back on there anyway, but you gotta, pretty much you just gotta do a lot of twisting and I didn't even know that. So it looks good, it looks good. It's a bit tall, so I can always change the height do what I need to do but it looks good 0.5 looks very good I'm not gonna lie this thing looks nice with the nice bigger tires you can, I don't know what it is but you can see the caliper is so much better with the bigger tires on with the other tires you can barely like notice the calipers and things like that but yeah man this thing is coming together the lights are coming soon so I got I got the front two pod lights and then I got some uh, lights for this area here and then it should be done and then we can start going on little trips and stuff literally everything i need except for a tent so i don't know if i want to get a tent maybe maybe not the tents are like super expensive so i don't want to like ball out on a tent and then not use it you know what i mean so who knows i do want to trailer the dirt bikes because we have a trailer right there i want to take the dirt bikes but i don't have a hitch and when I went to go buy the hitch previously, they were like 200 something, something like that, which was cool. I'm like, all right, cool. I can just put that to the side and just get all the more expensive stuff first. But now those hitches are gone and then the more expensive stuff are left over. So I don't know what happened with that. I don't know where they went, but I, I, I want a hitch. I want to tow things, you know, and I do want a toy hauler. So if we do get the toy hauler, I can get rid of the trailer. We have a nice big toy hauler free up some garage space and then set you set set for years while i was chat shitting my ballast for my left headlight or right headlight has came in the mail so brand new ballast so i can finally have the low beams working again because i've been driving with this i've been driving this without the low beams for some time now not even gonna lie not without the low beams but without one side and i thought it was a fuse it wasn't the fuse and I pretty much narrowed it down to the ballast. So hopefully this is the issue and it's not like some crazy electrical work because I already went ahead and replaced the bulbs, I replaced the fuse, I replaced the harness. Only thing left is the ballast. And luckily for us key car owners, you don't gotta remove the fenders, you don't gotta remove the bumper because it just slides right out, just like that. So go ahead and replace this bad ballast with the brand new ballast got the headlight back in let's see if it works let's see if it works moment of truth because if not i'm gonna be real assed out start this low beams on i'm gonna check the one side that works first all right let's see let's see all right that works see that's on and this is still not on. I have no idea what's going on now. Bro, that is so crazy. This fuse right here is the headlight fuse for this side, and now it's popped. So I don't know if it's been popped or what, but I'm gonna change this, and then hopefully I'm praying to God, bro. I'm praying to God, because this, this chasing this electrical stuff is not a joke, like it's super annoying. And I don't even know if there are spare fuses in this fuse box. I don't really speak German, so I'm not really sure. All right, so I swapped over the fuse with the new 15. Let's, uh, I'm not even gonna close that back because if it don't work, I'll be sick. So let's go ahead and what I'm actually gonna do is 
I'm going to leave the headlight out and I can pull out the uh, wiring harness and connect it to make sure it works. Hi, you are currently being recorded. And with the car started, it still doesn't work, so I'm not sure what is going on at all. Only that little light is working, except the low beam. I need the low beam to work. I think I may have solved the mistake. So I had it right next to this 25 fuse. I don't even know if you can see. Right next to that 25 amp fuse, it's supposed to be the one over where it is right now. So hopefully when I start it, it can uh, turn on. And I fixed it. I fixed it, we got low beams. Cool, cool, I'm hyped, excited. Thank God, bro. Because this thing was, I was struggling, man. And I know y'all wondering, yo, how did you shave? In the middle of a video, my camera died. I needed something to do. I cut my shit off, so that's what it is. Now that we got this working, I can go ahead and finally close this video out. It has been a, uh, it's been a journey today, guys. It's been a journey. We've been, uh, we've been through so much together, man. So much. I've been struggling with this car. I put car parts on. That was cool. But now, it's time to end the video.